So today I wanted to talk about goddess Isis. But due to changes in my path and a lot of things I experience, I wanted to talk about Hecate, the goddess Hecate, the titaness Hecate. And this is kind of introductory video of my path working with Hecate. Hecate replaced my male guide, Lucifer. She literally came and told me that Lucifer shouldn't be one of my guides anymore and that she is the one who will teach me what I need to know. Which Lucifer wasn't able to. And uh, I will tell you how this all started. So I noticed that some kind of entity is visiting me for few days. But I didn't know who it was. And then I listened to one of the podcasts about Hecate, or Hecate, or Hecate, call her whatever you want. And she visited me a few times after that podcast, she empowered me, and she told me she wanted to work. And she told me she wanted to replace Lucifer, my main male guide, and I told her no. And then I called Lucifer and he confirmed that Hecate should indeed replace him as my guide. When I wanted to continue to work with Lucifer and her at the same time, she told me that other practitioners can work with Lucifer and her at the same time. But for my case, for my ascension, she should take all of Lucifer's responsibilities and I should work with her to learn what Lucifer wasn't able to teach me. And so what I tried is I literally tried to call Lucifer in that same ritual despite of what she told me. And what she did was she literally blocked a Lucifer from a feeling from appearing in the right. She literally grew in presence and then she started pulsating through the entire room and creating some kind of magnetic field into entire room. And she literally blocked Lucifer from coming into my right. Now, it all had personal significance to me. Other practitioners can work with Lucifer and Hecate at the same time, but what I wanted to do here in this video specifically is I wanted to announce to everybody that Hecata or Hecate is one of my primary guides from now on together with Lilith and some other spirits. I didn't talk a lot about publicly on this channel and you will see a lot of videos about Hecate in the future on this channel. This specific video will talk about what misconceptions I heard about Hecate, which I found out to be wrong. And uh, this video will debunk those misconceptions. So, the first misconception I heard about Hecate, which is the biggest one, is that she somehow works as a trinity with Lucifer, Belial, and that somehow she creates some kind of a trident with them. First and foremost, uh, Lucifer, Belial and Hecate originate from three completely different magical traditions. They are attuned to three completely different currents and historically, they come from three completely different places. Hecate comes from Trace and modern Turkey and modern Bulgaria. Belial comes from ancient Jews and ancient Middle East. And Lucifer comes from old Italian witchcraft known as Stregoneria. And because one famous occult author jumps them together in his own magical tradition. It doesn't mean that those three entities 
has anything to do with each other. So there is one thing. All of those three entities are darker entities. They are darker powers and forces. And you can work with all of them at the same time. But the fact that one famous magical author lumps them together, it doesn't mean that they originally come from the same tradition or are the best spirits to be lumped together. Another misconception I heard about Hecate is that she is somehow really, really dark and really, really dangerous goddess. And that somehow she is so dangerous that only chosen people can approach her and work with her. And in my experience, that's not true. You see, I worked with a lot of spirits. And majority of spirits I worked with, and I work with, such as Lilith, Iblis, Azazel, Belial, Lucifer, are more dangerous than Hecate. Hecate really can be dangerous if you offend her and if you are behaving like a prick. But if you ask me, Hecate is one of the safest dark deities you can approach. She is much safer than Belial, she is much safer than Satan, she is much safer than Azazel, she is much safer than Lilith, she is much safer than the bunch of angels, she is much safer than Santa Muerte, she is much safer than all of those deities I mentioned. And this goes on and on and on. Hecata is a dark goddess, so she can be dangerous. But she is much less dangerous than majority of darker deities around there. And majority of lighter deities around there. If you approach her with respect, Hecata or Hecate is extremely safe to work with. And I heard about Lilith killing people. I heard about Tazazel killing people. I heard about Belial killing people. And I know testified cases of those instances. In some ways. But I never heard about Hecate killing anybody. Yes, she can punish severely. But she is much less, da less dangerous than the spirits I already mentioned. Third misconception about Hecate is that she somehow fits in mother, maiden, crown archetypes. In my experience, she is beyond any of those archetypes. And she is much ancient and transcendental than those archetypes are. Hecata is really something which is beyond our understanding. And you can't categorize beings like Hecata. It's just not possible. You cannot say Hecata is this, or Hecata is that, or Hecata is only coming to people so and so. She is definitely being beyond our understanding. She is being beyond our comprehension. And we cannot put limitations on her. Now, another misconception I heard about Hecate is that she is somehow subservient to Satan, to Clifford, or to demonic current. She is not, and I will argue that According to Gnosis of me and Gnosis of multiple other sorcerers and magicians, Hecate is much more stronger than your average demon. Hecate is in same power level as Greek Titans. She is a Titan. And uh, Cliphotic demons and so are somewhere 
at the, as the same power level as the Olympians, as the great gods of the Olympus. Average demonic king is uh, somewhere at the same power level as some great god from the Olympus. And Titans are much stronger than the, than the Olympian gods. Titans ruled world before the Olympians. So Hekata is much more stronger than your average demon or your average Olympian god. Her power level is much more and beyond beings like Satan or Azazel or Belial or Lucifer. Her power level is on completely different scale. She is much more powerful being. Another misconception I heard about Hecate is that she somehow work only with the females, which is also absolute nonsense. You can work with her as a male. And uh, there is one more misconception I think I heard about Hecate, and that's that she is originally a Greek goddess, and that she is originated in Greece. And that's not true either. Hecate has true or two streams of origin. One stream of her origin comes from Trace, which is the modern Bulgaria. And another stream of her origin comes from Anatolia, which was known back then as Asia Minor. And that part of the world was inhabited by the Hittites and Lydians, other two Indo-European peoples, who actually started the cults of Hecata and Cibela, or Cibel, you know, you know the myth about Cibela and Adonis. So Hecate wasn't originally Greek. And Hecate was never widely venerated in the Greek world. She was incorporated in Greek pantheon and in Greek mythology as a titan. But her cult was never really strong. She was always a marginal deity and her followers were often prosecuted due to the knowledge Hecate gave. And the last but not least, misconception about Hecate is, uh, let me remember, what was the last misconception about her? So, to be honest, I think I remembered something, but I hope debunking those misconceptions about Hecate will give you a bigger insight into this deity. Uh, yeah, yeah. The last misconception I heard about Hecate is that Hecate is somehow difficult to conjure, call or summon. For me, she was one of the easiest deities to summon. And according to experience of many, many other practitioners, she is not a difficult deity to summon, as long as you know what you are doing. Thank you for your time and effort, and I hope this con video contributed to your understanding of the old goddess. Peace out. <laughs>